Hey, once again, welcome back. Today's topic is uh, take a higher step. I want to encourage us together to take a higher step this year. Take a higher step and believe God for greater exploits in your life this year. If you've never been promoted, I believe that this is a year of your promotion. If you've not had any business, you've been hoping to start a business, believe that this year is your year. You're going to do greater ex exploits through Christ who does marvelous and wonderful works in your life. I believe together with me as we share uh, the word of God and trust him. He's a God of impossibilities. What looks impossible in your eyes is possible in the eyes of God. There is nothing that he cannot do for you. There is nothing that he does not know. There is nothing that the Lord has no solution about. He's all around everything. If you've been believing God for a child, I pray this season, the Lord is giving you a breakthrough. He's blessing your womb and you're going to have the fruit of the womb in the name of Jesus. He gives wonderful gifts, children, finances, everything. He heals. If you've been bedridden, believe in Jesus Christ's name that you're going to be a set free from the bondage of sickness. So our topic today, once again, it is take a higher step. Just like our topic suggests, take a higher step. This year, I want to encourage us to take a higher step in our lives, in everything that we do. I know this season uh, is a season that is really tough for everybody. Uh, there are people who are going through financial challenges. Uh, they are going through marital challenges, uh, family issues. Uh, it's really hard, maybe disease, barrenness, whatever situation you're going through this season. Today I've come around to believe together with you and to encourage you that our God is more than able. There is nothing that God cannot do. Trust in him, my sister, my brother. You will not regret it. Uh, all together, the Lord does wonderful things. He does marvelous things. He loves his children. Are you a child of God? Know that you are a child of the Most High God. Not just any God. You are the child of the Most High God. The God who reigns in heaven and earth. The provider of everything. He created the universe and all that is in it. He's such a wonderful father. He's kind. He's gracious. He sent his only son, Jesus Christ, who left his glory in heaven to come and die for you and me so that we are reconciled back to our father in heaven, to our creator. Praise the Lord. Brethren, the word of God says in 1 Corinthians chapter 2 and verses 9 open there together with me and read if you have your bible if you do not have your bible i'm gonna read for you right here it says that is what the scriptures means when they say no eye has seen no ear has heard and no mind has imagined what god has prepared for those who love him. Let me repeat this again. No eye has seen, no ear has heard, and no mind has imagined what God has prepared for those who love him. Who are those who love the Lord? Those are the children of God. You and I who are who is watching this video right now, I know you are a child of God. And I want to remind you that the Lord loves you. And that's why he has written this scripture to you who loves him, to you 
who is a child of God, that what eyes has not seen, what ear has not heard, uh, is what God has prepared uh, for those who love him. Hallelujah. This season, I want to remind you that the Lord has a lot in store for you. He is only waiting for you to take a higher step and claim and receive what he has in store for you. He is a loving father, remember. He is merciful and he gives. God does not deny his own anything. If you're believing God for anything this season, I want to encourage you and believe together with you that this season you're going to give testimonies. You're going to testify the goodness of the Lord in your life. This season, the Lord is going to fill your life with favor, with grace, and you're going to experience extraordinary things. Have you been believing God for a job? Have you been believing God for a fruit of the womb? Have you been believing God for your healing? My brother, my sister, I want to tell you it is on the way. Prepare your tent, enlarge it to receive what the Lord has in store with you, for you. Hallelujah. I am a testimony myself. This year, the last year, when people were going through the pandemic, all people went through a lot of financial breakdown. People lost jobs. People lost loved ones. People lost people who, who, who took care of their needs. And people were left desperate. But because for those who knew that the Lord is the one who takes care of them, they believed in God and God has taken them through. And those who did not believe, they saw their situation taking them along. But I want to share my testimony. Last year was the toughest year in my life. And it was the best year in my life. Last year, the Lord did wonderful things for me. The Lord gave me a promotion, and I thank the Lord for that. The Lord gave me an opportunity to go for a short course, and I completed it successfully. The Lord did wonderful things in our family. The Lord has done great things in our lives. I saw the Lord heal my son. I had a son who used to get asthma attack frequently all the time but i prayed to the lord to heal my son and i saw my son stabilizing i saw my son not getting those frequent attacks and i was like god you're such a good god i've been praying and believing god to give my son new lungs i told god you're a God of impossibilities. Replace my son's lungs. Replace my son's respiratory system. Replace my child's immunity system. So that he does not get these hypersensitive reactions that are giving him the asthma attacks. And I thank God that the Lord started acting. Hallelujah. So I want you to believe with me. No matter what you're going through, either you're having which kind of disease, the Lord is a healer. Believe him. Whether the doctors have given you a report that your disease has no cure, believe the Lord. The Lord will keep you longer. You will live to carry your grandchildren. You will not die of that disease. You will walk past that disease. You will walk past that problem in Jesus' name. People think of chronic diseases, but people have forgotten that accidents are killing people. But believe in God, that God is a mighty God. Even with that chronic disease that they have given you a number of days that you're going to spend before you die, I want to tell you, my brother, my sister, you will not die. If you're a child of God and you love God, 
and you're doing God's work, you're fulfilling his purpose in your life, he will not take you away. Until you're done with his work for for in in uh, with his work in your life, that is when you go back, when you've now retired from the Lord's work, and then you go back home to spend the rest of your life with your creator. Hallelujah. So right now, I want to pray with somebody who is watching me right now and you're believing God for something great. Comment what you're believing God for in the comment section below and I will pray together with you. I'll keep on praying for you and believing God to give you a testimony so that by the end of this season, you will come back and testify what the Lord has done for you so that you can encourage the rest of uh, uh, the people who are part of this channel, who are part of this family, to continue trusting and believing God for their testimonies too. Uh, so let's pray together and take a bolder step. Uh, remember our topic is uh, take a higher step. Take a step of faith. Do not believe for little things. Believe God, you serve a mighty God. So I want to pray together with you who is watching me now. Father, in the name of Jesus, I pray with my sister, my brother, who is watching this channel right now. In the name of Jesus Christ, Lord, I bring all they are, what they are believing for before you, O King of glory. You are the Lord, our provider. You are the Lord of all impossibilities, Lord. Those who are believing for the fruit of the womb, Lord, may you give them in the name of Jesus. Those who are believing for jobs, O King of glory, may you you open doors for job opportunities, oh my God. Those who are believing for school fees right now, children are going back to school. I pray that you open a door of financial breakthrough to the parents so that they can take their children back to school. Those who are believing you for knowledge and wisdom, oh my God, may you grant them you a father who is filled with gifts. May you grant them, O King of glory. We are children in your eyes, O Lord, and a child will not ask a father for bread and they give them a stone. We are believing you, Almighty God. May you provide, O King of glory. I pray for all who are sick, O my God. May you bring healing in the name of Jesus. May you heal that lady, that man who is watching right now in the name of Jesus Christ. Those who are feeling chest pain, abdominal pain, those who are suffering from cancer, those ones who are having COVID-19, Lord, may you bring your total healing. And Father, I pray may your blood speak for us in every situation. May you, King of glory, cancel every word, every negative word that has been spoken upon our lives, every negative word that is pursuing our destiny. We cancel it and destroy it to ashes in the name of Jesus Christ. I thank you, Lord. I thank you for all the people who have prayed together with me. And we believe by faith and we receive all that we prayed in Jesus' name. Thank you, thank you so much for being a part of this family. This channel's name is Mercy Cares. And who, me who is speaking, my name is Mercy. I love you all. May the Lord bless you.